I think the most interesting thing about this channel and all that stuff is you look at the content in the beginning and it was so deep. You had such a beautiful vision. You had Para and we were talking about recipes and shit and voice chat meetings every single night. Talking about our lives and our relationships. Planning things. I remember we used to have double dates in the Minecraft server. We'd, you know, date girls and just talk about shit and just, it was that comfort, right? You, we used to have YouTube videos where you would talk about memories and childhood and life like that. And I look at the direction in the community and it's none of that shit. It's the darkest shit I've ever seen. Love of Boy stories talking about him living in a van, molding about Air Erdo and his girlfriend treating him like shit, us begging him to change his life, and yet he's continuing to go on to that collapsing direction, right? Rune, of course, pushing him to rope because Rune wants him to kill himself because he's a sick fuck. EDK trying to enterprise on the situation, trying to sell his fucking courses while all these other people are collapsing. Oh, Annie having this breakdown and EDK really more or less just trying to psychologically manipulate her probably just to sell more fucking courses, right, motherfucker? Like, this is the way these people think. These people are freaking crazy. I'm sorry, let me compose myself. That's just my opinion. But honestly, as far as I'm concerned, I think this community is collapsing. I think everything that we try to do to build this community, every single time we get to 150 members in the server, that's when things begin to collapse. That's when the drama and the power gets hungry. I remember we had this point in the server when Para, with Senator Para, this was before I was involved with Daniel or hiding in my room, any of these people, right? With Senator Para, we had had such a nice community. We'd talk about cooking recipes. You know, I remember with my ex-girlfriend at the time, we would play in the Minecraft server and me and Senator uh, Joel had built up a house across from us and we had had a wonderful little thing, you know? We had built, uh, established Judah City. It was a cute little city with farms and shit. But the idea was that Para had wanted more power. Once we got to 150 members, he realized that as we had more members, he would have less power, less co consolidation of the fucking server. It's a fucking Discord server, dude. Like, chill, let's talk about shit, let's talk about life, let's talk about our relationships. Let's not try to fight over the most petty shit, and yet we have these people like Rune. We have these people like EDK and Marty trying to split off the community into their own server. We have dipshits like Sambo who create their own side servers. Really, more or less, because Sambo hasn't gotten laid, and so he just wants to find some place where he can co-op and manipulate as many women so he could fuck them. Let's just be direct here, let's be honest about the situation. And yet the shit gets worse and worse and worse. We could have had a wonderful thing. Imagine we have Sambo, Space Monkey, Annie, Pia. We could talk about shit. Oh, did you see the new Audrey Plaza movie? Oh, yes, I saw it. Well, Pia, tell me, what do you think of Audrey Plaza and Lana Del Rey? Oh, well, I was watching some Starbucks. I was so sad. Like, honestly, we could have had a chill freaking community where we talk about all sorts of different things. Everyone is working on their lives. We're working on it. But no, everything is getting worse. The debts have completely gone to unimaginable freaking levels and nobody is supporting each other in this community you know you'll talk about a problem the idea with you that we talk about a problem talk about issues in our lives and we can help each other out but because of the trolling and the obsession with collapse the obsession with blow turning this community into just a complete power trip oh the server's gotten to 100 members well i started my own discord server join it and then you look into the meetings and it's like the meetings that you have in mcflies you know where you have some ridiculous waffle person some belgian motherfucker who's going oh well did you watch back to the future oh yes i was I love that game. <laughs> fucking talking to a warus, this motherfucking person. Fuck you, Marty. In addition to this, one of the most interesting things about this is EDK how he's able to present this image of, oh, I'm so interesting. Oh, oh, well, let, let me tell you about being a man. Oh, yes, of course. Yes, of course. So I'm going to listen to some man who sounds like a character from GTA 4 on the concepts of manhood and like how to conduct your business. I remember one point him even giving me a lesson on how to fly a plane in flight simulator, the ego of these people. You know, the fact of the matter is, that we're never going to get the good community that we wanted. You know, we had this vision. I remember back in the early days, we had planned this vision of a perfect Discord community, a perfect metaverse, towers in Jutla City and the Minecraft server, endless adventure. I remember me and Senator Gas had worked on a highway that went on for thousands of miles in the Minecraft server. One time me and a girl went on a date where we walked down the highway for hours and just talked about our lives, right? We could have done that for the community. We could have all gone on dates in this server. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if Cess and Cassium and Pia went on a date in the server? Daniel and Pia going on? That would have been chill. Oh, shit. But of course, by contrast, that's not what's going to happen, right? Right? <laughs> I just don't even know. I just, I just want to build a community. 
and everyone wants to fucking collapse it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> And yet we have these power tripping motherfuckers like EDK and Ruin. I think Ruin is the fucking worst. Because Ruin doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't realize that he's playing with people's emotions. He's playing with Annie's emotions. He knows that she's vulnerable and he figures that she's just easier to groom because that's all he's all about, you know? You look at this obsession with prostitutes this obsession with his, his obsession he'll post these gorgeous girls from china and, and korea and stuff and it's the obsession of encapsulating every aspect of them getting control of them getting every aspect of their lives it's a sick fucking game with this motherfucker and i don't even i don't know where these fucking people come from i don't know what fucking dark corner you know? <laughs> i just don't even know what the fuck is happening with this community Everything in the server is collapsing. <laughs> the 4chan people are lost. <laughs> the fucking membership raids. <laughs> oh god. It's so bad. It's so bad. Oh god. <laughs> and I think the thing about it is with this community we can build something amazing. You imagine, just imagine that point in time when Daniel was running a Discord server, and he was running with Pia, and you had, he had the, he built a castle with Pia. We could have had a, a new version of that. I was going to create something additional to that, and we look at the amount of collapse recently. That's not going to happen with this level of community. <laughs> everything in the community is freaking falling apart, and I just do everything in my power to save it. <laughs> and just it. Oh God! <laughs> no. And I think the thing about it is, in addition to this, I think with Annie, with Annie and Fudge, it's the best case study. It's one of those psychological experiments where you thought, you know, you kind of get into it and you think, oh, like I'm in control of it. But they think eventually, at a certain point, you get too invested emotionally. You start to care about people. With Fudge, with Annie, I cared about their problems. I learned about their history. And I think the most interesting thing is, I remember I was talking to ADK about this. And it was one of those sorts of things. He had known everything about their lives. He was close to Fudge. He knew about Fudge. They had told all their personal drama to EDK. They trusted him more than me. And that's the irony there. That's the thing that you learn in life. You put your everything into a community. You try to be the good person. And then you have some manipulative witch, EDK. I'm sorry, let me compose myself. But some witch. Like, I know he's a man, but he's a fucking witch. He, in, he fucking joins the community. And he's just... Collecting information. Oh, tell me about you. Oh, you have a problem. Oh, let me play Dr. Phil with you. Oh, let me learn more about your problem. Oh, I see. Tell me more. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so horrible. Could you tell me more about your life? Mm-hmm. Oh, I heard that's so unfortunate. I'm here to help. Don't worry. Oh, well, I actually have some really interesting things to bring to the table, but I just want to know a little bit more about you. And then he collects it. He knows everything about Annie and Fudge. They don't give a shit about us. They Annie left the server like she didn't give a shit. And you looked at the investment that people had put into her, the community. You look at the people like, um, I don't even know, you had Soy and you and all these characters who were in love with Annie. She was like Snow White in the server. She was treated like she was a princess. But then, of course, she runs into the freaking arms of this witch. Fuck. And it's like these members of the server are like your children. You're trying to help them. You're trying to show them the way. I remember with Annie, I was trying to help her after that whole situation. I was, I was the only one who was there. I remember in EDK and the call, he was so cal. He was like, oh, whatever. I don't care. Oh, my God. Why did she always make this about her? <laughs> okay, more now about my thing. Let's talk about this. And I was just like, when she was crying, I was just like, Annie, are you Okay. Do you want to talk about this? Do you want to freaking talk about what you're going through in your life? And I remember the most interesting thing about it was how she pushed you away. She didn't give a shit about that. It really underlines how a lot of people are. They really are just self-centered. They just want to present this fake image of themselves, don't they? She didn't want to present this image of, 
I guess, a sense of truth, a sense of vulnerability, a sense of, well, I have a problem and I need someone to help and I just wish I could have this community. I'm really grateful for this. It was more so this sense of, oh, whatever, I don't need any of this. <laughs> You know, she would be in the other servers and she'd be talking, oh, you don't even understand. Did you, did you watch this on CNN? Oh, on CNN they said this. Shut up. Oh, did you know that Lagarde said it? Like, it's this idea of like, oh, you don't understand. You don't understand. I'm going to show you the way. It was a sense of kind of, I don't even know. She wants to just show off that she's really prissy and she just knows this. Oh, she's watched the Barbie movie several times. Oh, Margot Robbie, she's very similar. I've watched her on her Instagram as well. Oh, did you see? I was looking on Pinterest and I saw some really cool pins. Did you want to talk about that? She's still on Tumblr too. The sense of pretentiousness of this motherfucker. You know, the most interesting thing is you watch the Annie podcast. You can see really two people. You can see someone who's really chill and relaxed and just wants to talk, you know? And then you also see someone who's manipulative, self-centered, seething, like just a complete bitch. I'm sorry, let me compose myself. But this sense of just everything is about me. And at the end of the day, I'm going to present this fake image and you're going to know it's fake. And I don't give a shit because that's just what you're going to accept. I don't give a fuck if you know exactly who the real me is. But at the end of the day... At the end of the day, this fake image that I'm going to present, this Margot Robbie sort of image, Wednesday Netflix girl, work a day girl sort of image, that's the image that you're going to accept. I don't care if you've seen the truth, because you're going to accept my lie. It's a lie, all of these people. You know? You have this witch in her cauldron. I'm sorry, EDK. I'm sorry, EDK. I'm sorry, this witch. I'm sorry. What, I, what, what should I call this person, you know? This manipulative Dr. Phil wannabe cackling hen you know it's like one of the ladies on the view this dude and then in addition to this the most interesting thing about this is how they think that they're going to succeed in oh shit this plane's going to crash they think they're going to succeed in collapsing the community perfectly they don't give a shit about anything they don't give a shit about oh well you know we collapsed the discord server they had a great thing going and i know how they obsess over getting it back we have ollie ollie consistently high on every regard i'm sure he's probably watching this video right now hi Hey, Ollie, are you happy with the way you're conducting your life? Are you taking care of your daughter? You know, what about that? You know, you have Instagram photos of her and stuff like that, but I don't see you in her life. I'm sorry, let me compose myself. Let me compose myself. I'm sorry. And then we had the drama with Stoney Ma. I saw recently with Stoney Ma, she sent a comment in the last video. Now it's, oh, now I'm the bad guy. The fuck? Like, I don't even know how I can freaking run this community. I'm trying to help people. I'm trying to help everyone in these discussions. And yet these people don't give a shit. <sighs> Let's just create some more drama. Let's just make this more about me. Let's just get all the attention and run away and enjoy every bit of it. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm the only one who matters. Even if it's a fake image. Annie, right? Does that sound familiar? Does that sound familiar, darling? Huh? Want to talk to me about that? It's ridiculous. These people don't understand anything about what they want to create. They just want to create some shitty ass server on Marty's server where they just bitch and mauled about us. And they have built nothing. I look at Marty's meetings and they're a piece of shit. I have some freaking warwiss going on about shitty movies. Oh, oh, did you play the skirt? I didn't play it, Marty, because I'm not lame as fuck like you, bitch. I'm sorry, let me compose myself. This person, these people, they've co-opted the entire community. They're going to steal everything that we built. They're going to try to build, they're going to try to steal our Minecraft, so they don't give a shit about what we built. It's all shit to them. It's all just a joke, a shit post. And the most interesting thing about that is you had these motherfuckers, these crazy fucks from 4chan. I had people coming into meetings shirtless, streaming themselves, flipping me off, saying all sorts of crazy shit. And you know what? There are 10 times more fucking deep than the people that we just had in here. Than EDK, than Annie, than Marty, than Al. Oh my god! The fact that they're throwing all this shit at me. Al's making videos. He made one video on raping. He was like talking, oh, this is how you rape someone. I was like, what the fuck, dude? Like, what the fuck is this? And everyone's just, oh, this is totally normal. Like, what the fuck, dude? I don't know.